Hello out there. Uh, a lot of people been um, sending me messages or emails asking me how can they check their property assessment. And uh, there's a lot of different ways to gather information, okay, and compare your property with, to someone else, a neighbor, or somewhere, anywhere else in the city, if, if you really want to, because the city's got a variety of homes in different locations throughout the city. And, you know, we really haven't had a city revaluation in probably 15, 20 years. It's desperately needed, okay, because the the district, the issue is the distribution of the property tax is just unfair. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to this website right here. It's You can get to this web page off of the assessor site in the city of Cahos by just going to cahos.com and go to the assessor's link in there. But I brought it up ahead of time here. The easiest way is to go to cahos.orsystem.com. And once you get there, you come to this page right here. Uh, it's simple enough, search a property. We're going to click on this search a property, and it's going to bring up a bunch of different ways to do it. For this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to use the street finder. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to go to down arrow here, and I'm going to scroll down on all the different streets in the house, and we're going to find a particular street. And in this case here, I'm going to use Montgomery Street. <clears throat> now, once I get to Montgomery Street, I'm going to pick a property, and I'm going to pick uh, 24 Montgomery Street. The reason why I'm picking this property here is because this is the home of one of the members of the Board of Assessment Review. He's been on the board for five years. His name is Mark Retzlaff. Many of you people may know him, but um, I'm using this property because it stands out like a sore thumb of how some properties, okay, much bigger, um, for, for lack of a better word, more affluent looking homes, okay, are paying far less per square foot in assessed value. And um, to give you an example, uh, this home right here, here's a, uh, a larger picture of what the home looks like on the assessor's website right now. But I'm going to show you a picture of what it really looks like in its completed stage. This is what it really looks like right now. Okay, and I'll minimize that. And this is what the assessor has up on the website. Not even up to date. And the records are really epidemic. They're not up to date. Even the data is not up to date. So, how do you figure out what the assessed value per square foot is? Well, it's really very simple. You come to this page here, okay, and you bring up your calculator. I'm going to clear this previous entry. You're going to take the full market value, which is 241071, and you're going to simply divide it by the square footage. Okay, so you're going to take you're going to take 241071, uh, and you're going to divide it by 2,600 square feet, and the answer is $92.71. You can round that up to $93 a square foot. Okay, if this house was on the market, it would be selling at $93 a square foot. Keep in mind, it's a very new home in 2007. It's got five bedrooms, three and a half baths, no fireplaces. And we're going to come down here and I'm going to show you the neighborhood code what neighborhood it's basically in is is 1110 okay that is the neighborhood code 24 Montgomery Street now we're going to come over here and we're going to go back and we're going to go back a second time and we're going to come back a third time let's go to find another street we're going to scroll down and I'm going to pick up Jefferson Street right here uh, because it makes uh, a good comparison, okay? Jefferson Avenue, actually. Submit. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to find number 18 Jefferson Avenue. <clears throat> now keep in mind, okay, this here also is a Cape Cod style home, just like Mark Retzlaff's home. It's older, built in 1980. The square footage is 1,152 square feet. Okay, that's better than, that's better than, uh, gee, probably 1,400 square feet smaller. Three bedrooms opposed to five. 
one bath opposed to three and a half baths. Okay, so what we're going to do is bring up our calculator here again and I'll clear this entry and put in 165, 536. That is the full market value of this house. And we're going to divide that by the square footage. Okay, and the square footage is going to be 1152. And this house would here be on the market at $143.69. You're looking at $144 a square foot for this home. $144 a square foot. And this, okay, you're looking at paying $92 a square foot in assessed value. And this is what's basically going on throughout the homes, okay, you have these larger, more affluent looking homes, okay, have an assessed value per square foot, okay, uh, far less than smaller, less uh, affluent looking homes, okay. We're going to come back and we're going to do another example. Let's go to number 9 Jefferson Street because, again, it is a Cape Cod. Let's bring up this little tiny home. This is a, a better view of what it looks like. It's a really tiny, tiny little home. Okay. This is Mr. Retzlaff's home at $93 a square foot. Okay. And this here is number 9 Jefferson Avenue. It's older. It's a 1974. It is a Cape Cod. And let's simply do the math. We're going to bring on up the calculator. I'm going to clear the previous entry. I'm going to put in 136071, which is the full market value, and we're going to simply divide that by 1170, and they would be paying $116.30 per square foot for this little tiny home. $116.30. Okay, and again, $92. $93. Okay, this is what's going on in Cahos. It's widespread. It's epidemic. This man is on a board of review. It's unfair. And he has the nerve to sit there and say you cannot compare your home to his home. Well, that's true. We can't compare our homes to his home. Okay, let's take another look at another home. We're going to come back here and we're going to use Nancy Lane. Let's come down to Nancy Lane in Cahos. Okay, here it is, Lansing Lane, I believe it is. Let's see if I got the right street. I got uh, look for number 20, which is this little home right here. If you look at this little home, what is it? A Cape Cod. I'll give you a bigger view. This is a little Cape Cod. This is Mark Wetzlaff's home, okay, which is also Cape Cod. And this is 20 Lansing Lane. Okay, let's come back. It's a single family residence. It's 1,008 square foot. It's it's one and a half, two, almost two times smaller than Red's back. Three bedrooms, one and a half bath. We we'll bring up our calculator. I'll clear this entry. And let's do the math. Okay, it's a 126. Okay, 607 divided by 1008. And you're looking at paying 125.60, you could say $126 per square foot. Okay, $126 per square foot. Let me try to get this picture to come up. You're looking at $126 per square foot for this home, $92 per square foot for Mr. Ritzman's home. Makes no sense. But this is going on widespread in the homes, okay, widespread all over the place. And how do you want to confirm that this formula works? Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Zillow.com, and we're going to find uh, a home in Cohoes, okay? Cohoes, New York. I'm going to search it. Okay, and these are all recently sold homes. And if you come on down here, okay, you take a home like uh, Simmons Avenue, which was sold recently. You simply bring up your calculator. You take the one fifty-five thousand, 
and you, you simply divide that by the square footage of this home, okay? Well, let's see, it's, uh, it's square footage is 2,035 square foot. Two zero three five. Comes up to seventy six dollars and sixteen cents a square foot. There you are. So it shows the formula that works. If this is what the full market value was, is because this is what it sold for. If you take that number and divide it by the square footage, okay, you're going to come up with the price per square foot. In this case, seventy six dollars a square. Foot. It's a math. It works. Okay, this is the end of this tutorial, and what we'll do is I'll come up with another tutorial, um, probably in the next few days or a week or so, if anybody has any questions on how you use these tutorials and, and how you compare it to other properties in Cahos, what you can do is you simply merge the information that you find that recently sold homes are selling for, and then you find out what other homes nearby are, are, are priced at per square foot, like Mr. Redstock said. Why can't you compare this home to your Cape Cod at $92 a square foot? Where you have a good argument. They're both Cape Cods, they're both in the same neighborhood, his is bigger, all that information, and then you should be able to use that information to convince the Board of Review, okay, to lower your assessed value. So that's the end of this tutorial. And I hope that helps explain how we do some of the calculations for figuring out what kind of value your home is based on assessed value per square foot. And have a good day.